Welcome to another Bryanson School video tutorial for using the Onshape CAD software where we've been modeling a skateboard which is part of the C project. In previous video tutorials we've seen how to model the components, we've seen how to bring in a, a publicly shared component as well and produce some sub-assemblies and then a final assembly of the skateboard. In this video we're going to look at how we can create a, an exploded version of the skateboard and then turn that into a drawing. So to do this, we're going to click on the Exploded Views tool. And if that takes up a lot of screen space, you can just drag that across a little bit so that we've got more room to work in. So to create Exploded Views, we're going to add an Exploded View. So left click on the tool and you'll see Editing Explode 1 comes up. So we're going to keep that open for all the different steps. So the first thing I'm going to do is just left click on each of the heads of the screws that are holding the top part of the uh, trucks onto the deck. I'm then going to use the up arrow and pull the up arrow so it drags the screws out and we can see where they line up. So that's the first step, explode step one. I'm going to left click to say that I'm happy with that. I'm then going to make sure that I click in space just to deselect those otherwise what I do to the next step will happen with those as well. I'm now just going to drag out a box over the whole of the trucks and everything else. And you can see that the gasket's been selected, the trucks, the wheels, the bearings and everything else have been selected. And I'm going to uh, pull that down as step two. So I'm going to pull the whole lot down to there. And I'm then going to left click. Now it's worth pointing out that we want to be in an isometric view. So if you're not sure, if you right click, um, you can zoom to fit. And if you come over to here, you can left click and go to isometric. So make sure you're in an isometric view for doing this. Now I've done that with all of those components. I'm now just going to select the gasket, which deselects the gasket. And I'm going to pull all of those components down a little bit further. And the next step is going to require me to pull the washers and the nuts down. So I'm going to select a tick on there to say that I'm happy with that step. I'm going to click in space to deselect uh, all of the components and I'm now just going to spin that around so that I can get hold of the washers and the nuts. So I'm going to pull the nuts and the washers down together. So I might need to zoom in to be able to select all of those and I might need to be able to manipulate uh, the view around by holding down the right mouse button. So I'm zooming in with the scroll wheel and I'm holding the right mouse button down to be able to move around. So I've selected those components. I'm now going to go back up onto the right hand side of the modeling area and pick isometric again. So and now I'm going to select the arrow and pull it downwards so that we pull those components out of the way. I'm going to tick to say that I'm happy. Left click to deselect those parts and then I'm just now going to zoom in and pick up the nuts. And again, I'm then going to use the arrow that's pointing vertically just to drag those down and left click to say that I'm happy. So those are the parts that sort of line up vertically, if you like, onto the uh, onto the skateboard. And we'll now repeat that process, but we'll do it with the components of the, uh, the wheel. So if I'm careful, uh, I can just drag across all of the parts there. Now you'll notice that it's selected the axle that's part of the sub-assembly uh, that we brought in as a uh, publicly available file. I don't want to pull that apart, I want to leave that as a, a sub-assembly. So I'm just going to hover over to the axle, see that it's highlighted and left click on that. So I want to leave the axle behind, I want to leave the truck behind and all the truck components behind, I just want to bring out the wheel assembly. And this time I'm going to uh, select the sideways arrow and pull all of that out this way. Once I've done that I can left tick and now I'm going to pull the other parts out sideways. So left click to deselect everything. It's going to be easiest if I just pull the wheel out first of all. So select the wheel, pull the wheel over a suitable amount, let go and tick. And then I'm going to do the parts in, in a reverse order. So I'm going to go for the, for the spacer and pull the spacer across. I'm going to select the outer bearing and pull the outer bearing across. 
and then I'm going to select the nut and pull the nut across and each time left ticking uh, the steps. Uh, if I now go back to isometric and it should zoom everything in and there we can see how all the different components fit. I've not split up uh, the trucks, I don't think that's necessary and we didn't draw those um, as part of this exercise. So it shows how everything fits together. Um, we could, I suppose, uh, ex explode the wheel as a sub-assembly on the other side, uh, but I think that's quite a clear drawing. It shows how the different components go together and we've got some repetition and there's no need to explode each part separately. So now that we're happy with our exploded drawing, we can left click on done and we have explode number one. Now we can add other versions of explosions if you want to, uh, but that will be saved with the drawing, uh, with the model, sorry. The model will remember that we've done that. So let's close the exploder views and we've got our nice view of our skateboard. So let's create a drawing of that. So down on the left hand side with a little plus sign, left click on there and this time we're going to left click on create drawing. Now on here, um, we tend in the UK to use a kind of a, a little bit of a mix of the standards that come up on uh, the on-shape drawings. So we're going to use a custom template. We're going to pick ISO for International Standards Organization. We're going to change the size from A4 to A3. We're going to keep millimeters and we'll keep the, the decimal point as the separator. But instead of first angle, we're going to select third angle. Now for this drawing, it's actually not going to matter, um, but it's good to get into the habit of changing that over to third angle. We'll have borders uh, on our drawing, uh, but we're not going to put any views in to start with. So click on OK, and the software will put up a drawing sheet with our drawing uh, tools. And you can see it's gone to Part Studio, so we could create a part uh, drawing of any of the components within a part studio but we actually want to go to an assembly and we want the whole skateboard assembly because it's a bit more complicated it's it's still generating a preview so we're going to go to skateboard assembly and you'll see that it kind of it does a, a preview of the sort of size that you might want to put it onto the page now I don't think it's going to fit one to one so half scale is probably okay uh, but we're not going to create an orthographic drawing so we're going to go to view orientation and change that by left clicking and pick isometric and we can see that that actually appears much bigger at half scale and actually we also want to change the explode position from default to explode one which is the exploded version that we created so we just hover that over the drawing area um, we can get a preview of what that looks like now that's not going to fit onto the page so we need to change the scale so left click on there and we'll change that to a third one to three and that should fit nicely on our piece of paper so we can left click to place our drawing and there we have our exploded drawing now from here what we might want to do is to uh, show up all the different parts so we can use the balloon tool or the call out tool and we can use that to label all of the different parts. So we only need to select one of each version which is why it's quite nice to have this exploded drawing. So just select the edge, click to select the edge click to place the balloon so that will do with the parts that we've got and left click because we're happy with that now there's no kind of numbers or information in there at the moment so let's create a part table so if we go up here we've got our various tables and we want a bill of materials table so left click on that and we can insert that top left into the space that's provided and that should fill that in with details and you can see that it's also now started to add numbers in now there are missing numbers the reason why there's missing numbers is because it includes all of the parts of our um, a sub assembly of the truck so we could go in and add additional arrows to those which would be the missing numbers on here you'll note that it hasn't put a part number or a description in and that's because we haven't assigned any of those things 
uh, to any of our components when we modeled them. So let's go and edit one of our components to do that. You can then go through and do all of them and you'll see how it updates. So I'm going to go through to the deck. Now remember, because this is online software, it saves as we're going along. It's remembering everything that we do. Um, so we don't have to worry about saving that drawing. That drawing now will be part of that file. So I'm going to go over to the deck. And here's our deck. If I spin it around, you can see that we've got the, uh, the gasket underneath as well. I'm going to right click on the deck. I can do it over here on the right hand side. Uh, sorry, left hand side. And I can go to properties. So left click on properties. And I've got a name. I've got a description. I've got a part number. I've got a revision. OK. So uh, description, I could put uh, aero ply laminated deck and I could give it a part number. So let's go SB for skateboard and it could be 001 because it's the first part. So we'll save that and that information is then saved for that part. If we now go back to our drawing, so left click on the drawing and left click on this arrow to update the workspace you'll now see that we've got a description in here and a part number in here as well so we can go through and do that for all our various parts if we need to we can resize uh, the table to allow us to have a slightly bigger table and we can resize the columns within that table if we want to So you can just have a little play around and get that to fit how you want to make that fit on your sheet. Now ideally uh, you wouldn't have the table overlapping your model so if you want to shift things around completely you can do so now that the balloons are there or the call outs are there we can move that over a little bit so nothing uh, overlaps. So that's the next step is to go through and on each of the parts edit the part number and give them a little description or say what the part is and that will then appear on that table. Thank you for watching. In the next tutorial we'll have a look at creating an orthographic drawing of our assembled skateboard. Thanks for watching. See you next time.